Hi again, kids. This is Chapter 5, Lesson 3. Uh, the topic of this lesson is how do you compare and order integers? <clears throat> so at the end of this lesson, you should have a strategy for comparing and ordering uh, either any number of integers. Everybody knows what an equal sign is. I'm going to write down equal. And you know that that symbol is that. And when you're comparing two things, if they're equal, you'd put this in between them, letting your reader know that these two quantities, this quantity is equal to this quantity. <clears throat> Inequalities We're going to use inequalities today. And I'm guessing most kids, if I ask them what inequalities are, they're not sure. They might think things that are not equal. But inequalities, from now on, I want you to think of these two symbols. Uh, later, uh, we're going to learn some more inequalities. But here are two types of inequalities. This symbol and this symbol. And when I put those, when I write those down, uh, most every sixth grader has experience comparing numbers and using inequalities. And the way most kids learn this is that the inequalities are kind of like a mouth. Okay, it, and the mouth is going to eat towards the greater amount. It's either going to eat this way or it's going to eat this way, whichever amount is greater. But that symbol means something specific. This symbol has a meaning, and this symbol also has a meaning. And I actually remember this as a kid. I could never remember which one of these was what. I knew that it, the mouth ate towards the greater amount, but I really struggled to remember, well, which is which? Here's a strategy for figuring out <coughs> which is the meaning of that inequality and the meaning of this inequality. And here it is. Put numbers in <coughs> into that inequality that make it true. For example, way over here, I'm gonna I'm just gonna write um, seven and 4. <clears throat> the mouth is going to eat towards the 7 because it's more than 4. So if you're not sure what this means, put some numbers in there and then read from left to right. 7 blank 4. There's only one phrase or sentence that you can say in there that makes that true. 7 is greater than 4. This symbol means this symbol means greater than and here it is 7 is greater than 4 well this symbol now you probably know that this means less than but same strategy I'm gonna write numbers using that inequality that make it work. Okay, if I have a 2 here, the mouth is going to eat towards something that's greater. So, for example, I could have a 5. And now if I read from left to right, 2 is less than 5. It works. So, when you are reading a mathematical statement or comparison or inequality, you always read from left to right just like a book. 7 is greater than 4, 2 is less than 5. So let's write that down. Always read from left to right. And we're going to use that idea. <coughs> Um, 
all the time in stuff coming up as well. So we always read math statements from left to right. 7 is greater than 4. 2 is less than 5. <clears throat> so inequalities are these symbols. And this symbol means greater than. This symbol always means less than. <clears throat> Some of your uh, practice problems today are simply this, putting in which inequality makes the statement true. <clears throat> so that's what we're going to talk about next. Compare and order integers using a number line. This is our strategy. Compare and order integers using a number line. Now, we're not always going to draw a number line. <clears throat> you can if it helps your thinking, for sure. But in your mind, you should be picturing a number line or coming back to this example number line <clears throat> and working with this number line. Uh, let's see. Drop, leave some space here because we're going to write some words on this number line. So in the middle, I'm going to say that that's 0. And on this number line, I'm actually, I'm not going to count, I'm going to, I'm going to count by not ones, but bigger numbers. I'm going to count by fifties. So when we're making a number line or graphing, which we'll get to later, your jumps have to be the same. So on this number line, I'm going to count by fifties. Fifty, a hundred, one fifty. 200, and in this direction, of course, if I fold it right here, the 50 is going to land on its opposite, which is negative 50, negative 100, negative 150, negative 200. So there's a number line that we can use mentally, or we can actually point on this to where things that we're comparing are and use it. <clears throat> In that direction, this direction is the greater direction. So meaning, if something is right here compared to something that is right here, this is greater. It's more that direction. If I have something right here, something over here, this is greater. If it's that way, it's greater. So that means this way is less. Greater in that direction, less in this direction. So we're using a number line, and yeah, I want to go to that. So now let's actually do some examples. Uh, let's see. First example I want to do is, let's say we're watching Jeopardy, and we happen to turn on the TV, and a couple of contestants have lost some money. One contestant has negative 100, another contestant has negative 200. <clears throat> Symbols... and words. 
if we are going to compare negative 100 and negative 200, I'm going to put my finger on the number line where these fall. Here's negative 100 right here. Here's, whoops, I forgot my negative. Negative 100, negative 200. Which one is more that way is the greater amount. So negative 100 is greater than negative 200. Here's negative 100, here's negative 200. Which one's more that way? Don't, don't guess on some of these. You should actually come back to this, use this number line, or really think in your mind, if I were to put these on a number line, which one is more that way? So negative 100 is greater than negative 200. Here it is. Negative 100 is more that way. <clears throat> so this is what it would look like with symbols. And in words, I would say negative 100 is greater than negative 200. Uh, another example. Let's see, how about negative 23 and 2. What inequality is going to go in here? <clears throat> well, let's put these on the number line. Let's do our thinking. Positive 2. It's going to be right, it's going to be really close to this zero because this is 50, so it's going to be super close to the zero, about right there. Negative 23 is going to be, negative 25 would be right in the middle here, so it's going to be right about there. But which one is more to the right is 2. So in this example, the mouth would eat towards the 2. 2 is greater. It's more that way on the number line. <clears throat> So in words, I would, I always, we always read left to right, negative 23 is less than 2. So that is our strategy for comparing integers. Put them on a number line, whatever's more that way is greater. <clears throat> All right, time for... Chapter 5, Lesson 3, Puzzle. Okay, reminder, shown you this for the past two, that in order to win, you have to solve the puzzle. It must have all your notes for the whole chapter. So to win this one, you'd have to have Lesson 1, 2, and 3, and you must have the assignment done. Here's Chapter 3, Puzzle. Lesson 3, sorry. There it is. What common word or phrase can you come up with from that puzzle? This one's kind of tricky. Okay, continue on with the lesson. Uh, okay, next. We're going to order, so this is comparing integers right here, comparing using an inequality. Next, we're going to order integers. Order, and this time we're going to order from greatest to the least. Order from greatest to least. So pay close attention to ordering. Sometimes it's going to ask you to order from greatest to least. Other times it will say order from least to greatest. Look closely. And here are the integers we're going to order. Negative 15 3, negative 4, 12, and negative 27. And I'm going to build a number line. And again, if you're really good at doing this in your head, that's great. Uh, but really do this activity. Either build this in your mind carefully or draw it out. And I'm just going to kind of sketch this. I'm not going to actually make 
a real number line with marks. I'm just going to use this model and I'm going to put these somewhere on this model. Well, I know that this is less and this is the negative direction. This is greater. This is the positive direction. And now I'm just going to put these roughly where they might go. Negative 15. Well, I might just come over here and say that there's negative 15. 3. Positive 3. I know that that's going to go this way, and it's going to be, that. if that represents 15, 3 is going to be a much smaller amount, maybe about like that. Negative 4. Negative direction. If that amount is 3, 4 is just a tiny bit more. And again, these are estimates. They don't have to be exact. <clears throat> Maybe negative 4 is about right there. 12. 12 would be more than 3. It's going to be maybe somewhere out approximately right there. And again, these are, they don't have to be exact, but I'm just getting them in the right order on a number line. And then finally, negative 27, which is going to be more negative than negative 15, so maybe out here. So there's my quick model, and again, it's rough, it's not exact, I don't have any intervals uh, or jumps, but now I know from this the order. If it said greatest to least, I'm going to start here, and I'm going to list greatest to least. If it said least to greatest, I would start here and name my integers in that direction. But because it says least or greatest to least, I am going to start here and name the integers in this direction. So 12, 3, 0 was not actually one of my numbers, it was just for the uh, number line. So negative, I'm not going to include it, negative 4 negative 15, and negative 27. So this would be my answer. Ordering these integers right here from greatest to least. Starting here, going that way, greatest to least. Again, if it said least to greatest, I'd go the other way. OK, that is it for lesson three today. You will be comparing and ordering integers. Use a number line. Okay, Really think about which integer is more that direction. It's greater. And same idea with ordering integers. Put them on a number line. Where would they go? And then you can solve the problems. <clears throat> All right. I will see you soon for lesson four.